When I got these trail runners recently, they're Ultra's Lone Peak shoe, I figured I'd try a different way of lacing them. Ultra touts this method as their customer preferred and personal favorite lacing system. With this lacing method, you basically skip lacing over the forefront and then secure things up closer to your ankle. By using the topmost holes to create loops that you pass the laces through, it keeps the shoe on your foot, keeps your heel from sliding around. It was really cool to try, but there are a few things that I've grown not to like. Lacing the shoes this way doesn't secure things enough around my midfoot, and it doesn't take advantage of the shoe's structure for securing things there. As a result, I found them just way too roomy up front, even factoring in that ultras are roomy up front. I found my foot sliding around like a windshield wiper blade. The heel was really secure, but the front was just sliding back and forth as I walked. Lacing the Lone Peaks this way also leaves these flaps that get caught by sticks and branches and trail debris as I'm hiking. So I've switched to the classic way of lacing, which is actually how they arrived in the box. And I like it much better. It gives me a nice snug hold around the midfoot. I find that especially important when I'm wearing an ultra light or thin sock. There's no flap sticking out, they're all held down by the laces. And there's still enough length in the laces to use the loop method up at the top. A couple things not related to the lacing on these shoes. As I've moved the shoe around, you might have wondered what the metal loop at the front of the laces is for. That's an anchor point for a gaiter. The shoe also has two anchor points on the side if you're using a four point gaiter plus a Velcro closure at the back. I have to say, I love these shoes on descents. The lacing really works when you're walking downhill, plus the design of the tread has claws under the heel that grip forward and keep you from sliding. How do you lace your trail runners? Leave a comment, and if you're interested in hiking and hiking gear, be sure to subscribe.